In this video, we will showcase a droplet generation system with our iFlow Touch Pressure Controller for single emulsion applications. Our droplet generation package includes PTFE tubing, air tubing, reservoir kits, flangeless fittings and ferrules, female lure adapters, liquid tubing adapters and plugs, and a droplet generation chip. The reservoir kits feature an adapter cap that has both PTFE and air tubing connections. The top port is for PTFE tubing, and the side for air tubing. The air tubing connects with the female lure adapter, while the PTFE tubing requires flangeless fittings to connect to the cap. These should be combined with ferrules to ensure a proper seal. Once you have prepared the caps for all reservoirs, you may mount them and move on to the chip. For this example, we will need two for water and one for oil. Pressy Genome offers various droplet generation chips. This one is capable of both single and double emulsion. Depending on the design, you may need lure or mini lure adapters. Whichever chip you use, connect the PTFE tubing to the appropriate channel inlets and plug any unused outlets. For small volume production up to 0.5 milliliters, Pressy Genome offers a separate microfluidic mount. This model uses lure reservoirs which connect directly to the chip. You may connect them to both outlets and inlets. Don't forget to plug any unused outlets. The top ports of this mount connect to air tubing directly, so PTFE tubing is not required and dead volume is much lower. If using our high-speed imaging system, mount the setup and fix in place with the microscope's clips. In any case, connect the air tubing to the iFlow Touch and the setup is ready to use. For more information on our high-speed imaging system, please see its respective video. For now, we will showcase our system in a DropSeq application. Before using your particle solutions, prime the PTFE tubing with DI water and oil. To do this, turn on one iFlow channel at a time and set a low pressure target. Disconnect the corresponding tubing from the chip and press the play button to run the pressure controller. When you see liquid exiting the tubing, stop the controller and reconnect that tubing to the chip. Repeat for all reservoirs in use. Once all the inlet tubing is primed, set your desired pressures and run the iFlow Touch. Now is a good time to tune your pressure and adjust the imaging system settings, like focus, zoom, or shutter. When you are ready, stop the controller and replace the aqueous reservoirs with your desired solutions. Ensure your solutions are uniformly suspended and do not reprime the PTFE tubing. If encapsulating particles of different sizes, ensure the larger particles are connected to the central water inlet and the smaller the peripheral inlets. Run the pressure controller again and pay attention to the imaging system. It will take at least one minute for beads or cells to start flowing into the chip, and we do not recommend major changes to pressure at this point. When you wish to stop droplet production, make sure you remove the solution tubing from the chip as soon as possible after stopping the controller. Replace the reagent solutions with DI water and flush the tubing outside the chip to minimize remaining particles. From here, you may collect your droplets for further analysis.